Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shots, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got some more plays for you today. Not in the Niners playbook, though. Today I'm in the West Coast playbook. I know that's been a popular playbook uh, pretty much all year long. I try to stick to the team playbooks because I just think they're a little bit more accessible considering that the West Coast and the alternate playbooks, you can't access those plays and custom playbooks and stuff like that like you can the team playbooks. So I'm going to touch on the West Coast playbook today. If you guys want to see the weekend videos that I make Saturday and Sunday, out of any alternate playbook, let me know in the comments section. But if you want to see West Coast, uh, for sure, hit the like button. But the formation that I'm going to focus on today is the Strong Close. Now, this is a formation, if you've been playing Madden for a while, maybe going back to Madden 16, you should be familiar with. Because it's one of the most patched formations in Madden history. Uh, including some of the plays that I myself put out. Including the first play that I ever put out on this channel, the halfback off tackle. I'll try to find a link for that horribly recorded video uh, that I made, the very first play. If I didn't delete it, I probably deleted it. But either way, the halfback off tackle, that was patched. Uh, the PA end around was a play that I put out, that was patched. Uh, also, the quick toss and the wide receiver out. All these plays have been patched uh, because they were all complete cheat codes. But there's still a lot of really good plays in this formation, especially in the West Coast book. So the first play that I'm going to pick is the wide trail. That's a really glitchy play that needs zero adjustments to be effective. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pick that. I'm going to put all these plays in my audibles, which I've already put in. I'm going to show you a cover two beater, a cover three beater, and a cover four beater, all of which are one play touchdowns, uh, including the FL drive at the bottom there. Um, the uh, where are we at here? The deep cross and the PA scissors. All of these plays can be home runs against covers two, three, and four. And I'm gonna show that in this video. So let's start off with the cover two play. So starting off with the wide trail, like I said, this play right here, it needs zero adjustments. I'm gonna make adjustments. I'm gonna show adjustments that really make this play better. But if you're not very good at adjustments, all you need to do is run this play against a cover two. And the route that Sanders is running, you just kind of have to wait till it gets about 20 yards out. And it's just a completely broken route. You can see how it gets outside of the cover two incredibly easily. The Niners are a good team, but they don't necessarily have a great receiving course. Sanders is okay, but he shouldn't be breaking defenses like that. Like I said, you just kind of wait till he gets past that cornerback, past lead outside and bullet, and it's just completely broken. So this is a really good route. I've shown this route off in a couple of my plays already. And I don't think there's really too much that I should have to show. If you want to make the play a little bit more of a wider window, you can motion over Kittle and put him on a streak. Uh, this is not necessary, though. And if you do this, uh, your opponent has a better chance of following that over. But you can see how it makes the throwing window that much bigger. Completely unnecessary, though. I mean, like I said, a good pass lead and a good bullet pass is really all you're going to need to get this play done. And since this play is coverage specific, I would say that you can block your running back, you can block your, your tight end, or as, as many as you really want because you're really just aiming for the X route. But you could also make a couple adjustments to make this play even harder to cover. If you motion over Kittle, put him on a streak like I just did, and then put Sanders on a drag, now you really have three levels of passing that are all going to beat cover two. As you can see right here, I mean, the cornerback completely bails for that drag route, which makes it just an easier throw over the top. That's really all it is. So if you really wanted to maximize this against a cover two, that would be the setup. Motioning Kittle over, putting the uh, the B route on a drag, blocking all of your running backs, and you're going to have um, the most, you know, the, the easiest version of it. As you can see right there, the cornerback bails once again. Uh, but like I said, it's unnecessary. So I would prefer not to tip my hand, just run the play as is maybe you know put Kittle on a streak uh, and then do the drag at the very least but don't show your hand the next three plays in my audibles can all pretty much be used as a cover three touchdown because you really just have to make adjustments around uh, the the corner route there or the post route um, ultimately you're just going to you can pick any one of these the best one in my opinion is probably the PA scissors or even the PA deep cross they're probably the two best um, so I'll pick the PA scissors and uh, the adjustments I make are pretty simple. All I have to do is put the A route on a streak, uh, motion out Sanders here, and then put him on a comeback route. That's pretty much it. I can block my running backs in the backfield. Um, I don't really need them to do too much. Uh, and that's pretty much all I have to do. Now, the hardest part about this play is waiting for that receiver to cross the field. Um, it's not necessarily, uh, you know, I like cover three plays that beat up the seam, but you can see how you can beat just about any defense with this formation. 
that's really the idea i mean like i said my favorite play is without a doubt the wide trail that's a, that's a cheat code but if you if you come to the line of scrimmage and your opponents in something other than a cover two that you might have been expecting you have the ability uh, to hit home runs against pretty much any defense uh, that you're going to see is i already messed up the uh, adjustments now as far as you know if it's a cover one man this is gonna, this is going to work the same way um, i didn't really mention that but ultimately any cover three or cover one man uh, cover zero all that it's going to work the same way this crossing route's going to going to have success as i as i right here i find uh <laughs> i find space i kind of want to roll towards the throw but it doesn't really matter so you can see right there cover three one play touchdown now, as far as the cover four plays go, I mean, the PA scissors and the PA deep cross, you can make that, make the play I'm about to show you out of either one of those once again. I like the PA deep cross. The only thing is when it comes to cover four, you have to kind of be to the shallow side of the field. So make sure you know where you are on the field. So like I was saying, the B route has to be coming across to the short side of the field for this to be successful. All I'm really going to do, motion out Sanders here, put him on a smoke screen, and then block everybody once again. And that's pretty much it. The hardest part is going to be getting time for this B route to cross the field. But you can see once he gets to a certain point, he's really gone and he breaks right through where the, the one deep safety and the one cornerback are kind of split. You can't put uh, the X route on a smoke route where he is. You have to motion him out to get that option. That's the only reason you have to make that motion. Luckily, like I said, the previous plays, um, you know, had the same motion, so it doesn't really give it away necessarily. And then, like I said, just buying time. A lot of times I'll roll out. You can see the separation it gets, and we're hitting home runs. So in this formation, you can home run cover two, cover three, and cover four pretty easily. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see uh, the run plays out of this formation uh, another day coming up there, I have some pretty good run plays out of this that are still really successful. Uh, let me know in the comment section. Hit the like button if you want to see that. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.